uh, circular pattern. The tool is right up at the top, underneath linear pattern, circular pattern. Circular pattern needs two things. It needs what do you want to pattern, what parts, so I'm going to select all three. And it needs a line or an axle to rotate the feathers around, like a center of the circular pattern, which I don't have yet. So let's make that. Okay, turn my planes on. Let's see where, I'm get, my, get my bearings here. So we want to draw our axis on, it looks like, the right plane. Okay, on this plane. We're going to draw a line down here. And that way, these feathers are going to rotate around that line. So click right plane, Shift S for sketch, N for normal, L for line. OK, it doesn't matter the length. It's just a reference point. Now, I know that uh, this line should be half of the, of the creamy center of the Oreo. So I'm going to make another line from here. And I'm going to, it should be 0.725. And that is almost perfectly touching the corn so I can get it right to there and now I know that my axis is at the right distance right because we want the corn to just touch the cream in the center okay so now I have my sketch this is my axis of my pattern I'm gonna click circular pattern let's turn these planes off I'm gonna select my parts I'm gonna click axis over here and I'm gonna select my axis and I'm going to select my line. There it is. Now I got four. Perfect. I need five. And I don't want them to go all the way around. I want them to go in about an 85 degree span or so. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. They're evenly, pretty evenly spaced. It looks like the, um, it looks like the candy turkey tail in our plans here. You see the turkey tail. So that's close enough for us. So that now I've got them set up in perfect position. So the idea is that it's easier to deal with these all as one piece in our assembly rather than five separate items, which are actually